Dear all, welcome to hrtech.sg's demo hour edition for May 2021. We'll be showcasing best in class employee mental wellness technology players in today's session. Before that, a quick overview of hrtech.sg. Uh, we host what is Singapore's largest and curated marketplace of over 110 technology providers across eight HR talent categories. You could access the market marketplace at at www.hrtech.sg slash marketplace. We are also the co-creators of the Singapore HR Tech market map for the last three years in partnership with Adrian Tan. Um, this year, the 2021 Singapore HR Tech market map has gone online and you could access the same at www.hrtechmap.online. Uh, we work very closely with the uh, Institute for Human Resource Professionals. Uh, I program lead the HR Tech task force for IHRP. HRTech.sg embarked on the Demo Hour event series in 2019 to evangelize and promote use of uh, HR technologies. The event provides a platform for HR tech providers to showcase their high tech solutions, thereby aiding the acceleration of adoption of technology by HR teams. The event motto has been only to showcase demos and not presentations. The first event happened in September 2019 at our rework facility in Suntech, Singapore. Today, we have our May edition of Demo R in an on-demand webinar format. There's a strong need for mental wellness platforms today. 2020 was essentially all about dis disruption and displacement. Work from anytime and anywhere routines, job uncertainty, social isolation, blurring work-life boundaries and medical quarantines have placed copious amounts of stress on employees globally. In fact, 78% of the global workforce has been negatively affected in 2020 due to the pandemic based on a survey. And there's been a strong call from the ground to put in new measures and programs to probably arrest the next pandemic of mental health. The current macro conditions can deeply impact mental well-being of individuals. In fact, the just released Aeon's 2021 Global Well-Being Survey finds that globally companies that improve employee well-being performance by 4%, they actually see a 1% increase in company profits. So all the more there is an essential focus needed by all enterprises to invest in employee mental wellness platforms. Uh, the current macroeconomic condition, the socioeconomic condition, puts a lot of stress on individuals. So the quality of life alone doesn't worsen. It also impacts the physical health. So employers are now presented with an opportunity to provide personalized custom programs with the help of technology to empower employees to improve their mental health. So there are some common barriers for employees to not seek help for mental wellness. The two main reasons are, number one, high cost of therapy. Um, and usually they are not covered by their insurance providers, which automatically stratifies the number of people that can seek help. Number two, the stigma, the social stigma rather, attached to mental health conversations is high across most societies. So individuals who speak up are always at the risk of facing discrimination and being ostracized from their social groups. And that's where wellness technologies play a great part. They can effectively deal with the twin barriers of cost and stigma. So with the advent of artificial intelligence and machine learning, wellness platforms are becoming more efficient and cost effective. HRTech.sg has been publishing insights and trends on uh, through its resources, insights, blogs, white papers, infographics, and ebooks. Do check the same at uh, www.hrtech.sg and, and you can download the recently published mental wellness technology ebook um, um, with inputs from various uh, mental wellness providers uh, in Singapore. Thank you again for attending today's session. Uh, I'm sure you're going to have an exhilarating ride looking at the demonstrations by 
four leading mental wellness technology players uh, uh mindfy who is represented by um, leon safe space represented by antonite and darwin thoughtful world by joan and zen and finally uh, joy uh, represented by their ceo sanjeev magotra i now hand it over to sanjeev uh, for his quick presentation and demonstration of the joy platform over to you sanjeev thanks shri ram uh, it's a wonderful introduction to the topic and uh, we are making our effort to bring and make a difference to this space uh, and we think the timing is just about right to take inspiration from the physical health paradigm of uh, you know past 15 to 20 years where digital technology Technologies have penetrated our day-to-day -day well being, uh, physical well being, and created the habit of physical fitness. So, if you see, physical fitness is taken, uh, you know, as a necessity for all of us to prevent disease, to have a lifestyle, to feel good, to look good, to avoid the disease, and to be more productive. The pandemic has, uh, in addition to many things, good and bad, mostly good, mostly bad. the one good thing is that all of us have common have come on a common page to realize that we need to take care of our mental health just like we take care of our physical health we need to build a mental fitness habit just like we have built the physical fitness habit and we see the benefits of this so we are making a a very strong attempt to build the mental fitness habit with our ai based technology uh, through the joy platform i'm going to show you a quick demo of the experience of joy which is designed for ease of use based on the paradigm that everybody needs mental fitness support mental health support and we need it every day as opposed to assuming that you know our mental health is only a few days in the year that we need mental health support you know the way things are uh, we are all conscious that we need it every day and all of us need it and that's the design principle of joy i'm going to share a quick demo with you want to make today great Start with Joy's daily brew. Express yourself and speak your mind. I'm so so stressed today. I don't know what to do. Joy will share a personalized plan with you to make the most out of the situation. Joy's AI will understand how you're feeling, and it will suggest contextual nudges, mindfulness audios, and intelligent podcasts to uplift you. You can keep track of your mental well-being on a weekly and daily basis. And you can analyze the trends and take care of your mental well-being proactively. In addition to speaking your mind, you can also engage in a deeper reflection using our touch interface. We've brought the science of positive psychology at the touch of your digital instinct. And this easy self-reflection will help you find the answers that already lie within you. Joy is designed to understand your unique context and emotions. It will give you contextual nudges and intelligent suggestions to help make you feel more productive and better. Make joy your daily personal space and make happiness a habit. So in effect the experience which you just saw is focused on uh, ease focused on taking the stigma out and focused on providing you the contextual experience the contextual support the right care at the right time we believe that in the mental health space uh, one of the most important element is getting the right help at the right time and with the ai based technology and the design we have we have created that platform that you know you get into the platform at the right time and you express yourself the system will understand your context we have trained our artificial intelligence based on the science of well being and the full paradigm of you know situations and triggers which we face in our daily work work life situation we will understand that and give you contextual nudges to uplift you from a potential negative spiral which the employee might be getting into and immediately with the experience tend to bring up high probability that the employee will come out of the negative spiral and will turn productive soon and we don't finish there we take the employee through a habit forming uh, gamification to create interest in the experience so that the employee tends to come here more often idly every day and and a few times during the day 
uh, and this becomes a very nice lifestyle experience for the employee. The focus here, as I said earlier, is on the ease. It's as simple as one, two, three. Uh, this is world's first voice-enabled mental health experience where employee can express their feelings, you know, in the most easy way of talking it out. Uh, in addition to many other techniques which we have incorporated to encourage the employee and uh, other kinds of users to uh, express themselves. And in expressing yourself is that mindfulness moment, which is very important in taking care of our mental health. Taking a moment and thinking and reflecting, how are you feeling about yourself uh, is a very important step in uh, that whole process and then supported by the contextual nudges. And from an enterprise perspective, our platform is designed primarily for the employees uh, in an enterprise environment. And you know, if you look into the enterprise paradigm, the employee experience, there are many solutions to measure the employee experience. And there are many which are there to improve the employee experience, right? And most of them are focused on functional performance. Whereas the time is here that we also understand that you know, in addition to the functional performance, it's the mind which drives the motivation of the employee and the productivity of the employee. So it's very important to look at the mental fitness of the employee and the platform of joy is designed while to help the employee improve the experience and the productivity by taking care of themselves in the, during the weak moments, during the emotional flux. It also generates very powerful analytics which where we anonymize the employee inputs and present that as a daily emotional health of the enterprise for the HR head and for the CEO and the managers to get uh, daily insight into the emotional health of the organization, which is one of its kind. And the combination is a very strong culture forming engagement, monitoring and engagement creation tool for the modern enterprise in the new normal. So we believe that uh, productivity in the new normal is at the convergence of engagement and well-being in addition to functional motivation, which has been the focus of the traditional employee engagement solutions in the past. So in summary, the key differentiation of joy and how we provide a unique value proposition for the enterprise is by giving a very contextual experience as opposed to a content-based experience, uh, you know, as opposed to searching for content and thinking and deciding what you need, we ask the user to reflect, which is an important step in the, in the mindfulness and the mental health. Uh, and based on that reflection, we suggest to you what is the right action for you to do, right? And as you saw the experience, you know, it's a very lifestyle experience. There's no stigma with this, rather there is, there is little lifestyle element here. And more so this experience we are delivering by embedding this inside of other company and healthcare applications. So we are not selling our solution as a standalone app because that kind of uh, reduces the contextual effect and the value proposition. We want this to be available where your employees go and use uh, the apps on a daily basis, you know, your intranet site, your email system and the likes, your reward system. So joy will be embedded in those kind of things. And uh, last but not the least, the power of data-driven uh, mental well-being is one of its kind which we are bringing globally. So we believe that you cannot improve it unless you measure it. Yeah. So the, the net of this, what you see is you can relate this to the 10,000 steps, which is the which is kind of driving our behavior on a day-to-day -day physical fitness uh, space. Uh, Joy is attempting to do that for the mental fitness space. Uh, this is a little demo of, uh, you know, embedding of joy in one of our partner solutions in Singapore rewards. So, you know, this is a typical employee app which rewards uh, uh, where, the, where the enterprise is using reward solution to motivate the employees with rewards and other fitness activity. So in the rewards app now you can have mental fitness also delivered to your employees uh, through the same platform. Uh, this is how the dash, this is how the homepage experience looks like. You know, and you tap on this, there's a very strong motivation for the employee in the morning when he or she is visiting for other activities in the app. You can visit and check your mental health as well. Once you do that, you will go through the experience which I just showed you in the, in the video demo and you know, do all the activities as if you were doing it inside the same app. Uh, that's the technical experience. And at the end of it, you will come back to the same home page uh, and you know, continue to do other things which you would do in your work life. So this is just a little demonstration of the embedded uh, solution. I'm going to show you a quick uh, demonstration of the live platform as well as the dashboard which the enterprises get to see. 
So, so this is, uh, you know, a sample uh, dashboard. So where, you know, you get the emotional joy, the emotional health of the organization, which we call as a joy level on a scale of 10. So this is the consolidation of all the employees uh, across the company or across the department. Uh, privacy is very important in this whole thing. This data is anonymized, first of all. Secondly, we will not present this data for a sub-segment of the organization where the size of the employees is less than 100. So uh, ideally only at the company top, but for very large organizations, we can do it at, uh, at a certain team level above 100. Uh, you can see your day-to-day -day movement of the emotional health. You can see your week-to-week -week movement of the emotional health and you know a lot of other trends. Uh, yeah, uh, and there is a lot of data behind uh, un under this also, which I won't take you through. But there is a very powerful, uh, you know, unsolicited, um, anonymized uh, insight you get without traditional surveys. And this data gives you very strong trends. And we have a, a methodology built out, you know, to make this data actionable. That you know, if the trend is like this, what are the indica possible indications? If the trend is like that, what are the possible uh, causes? And then you can use the power of uh, pulse surveys to go deeper to the next level and the next level to dig out some of the root causes. So this is the live demo. You know, I showed you the voice experience. I wanted to show you another experience here. So you know, in addition to the voice experience, you know, many times people don't want to express themselves or they need help in a guided reflection as opposed to top of the mind reflection. So this is the system of guided reflection which we have. You know, we ask you some four or five questions every time under our framework, uh, different questions to get you to reflect and then help you to understand, help us to understand your context and take you through the process. So, you know, this is uh, how social are you? Today I'm feeling great, very social. Anxious, maybe not. Uh, active, I am feeling very active. Uh, you know, I'm not annoyed. Uh, I'm feeling positive. So this reflection itself is giving me a moment of thought on some of the things which are important in our mental well-being. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, based on this, I got a score of 8.7 on a scale of 10. Mm, so for anxiety, my anxiety level is low, which is great. And it's giving me a positive notch here. My social level is great. My anger level is low. So incidentally, today, everything is positive. I should have taken a negative example. Uh, and then there is a podcast here, uh, you know, which will be relevant to the context and the major emotion you have there. And then there are analytics. This is my today's analytics, my average school since morning. Today, I was 8.2 now. In the morning, I was really down. So average of the day is 5.7. Yesterday, it was 4.2. You know, average of last week was this. So, you know, there are a lot of analytics here. And then there are further uh, indications you will get in terms of, you know, building resilience over a period of time. And in due course, we'll bring in personalization here uh, to help you at the individual level. Like, uh, thanks, Sanjeev. Uh, that was a great uh, demo of uh, Joy. Uh, so just quick uh, questions out there. What are some of the interesting trends that you are witnessing in the mental wellness tech space, especially in Singapore? And what is your product differentiation to cater to the emerging trends of enterprises? Sure. No, thanks. Uh, they are great questions. So, you know, uh, Singapore is uh, turned around its awareness and focus on mental well-being in the last 12 months in a traumatic way. You know, uh, being an Asian-dominated country, you know, these things were not talked about so openly and, you know, loudly. But Singapore, hats off, you know, it's turned around. You know, the government is putting in money, is putting in focus. You know, uh, all the right things are happening and for the right reasons. Uh, so uh, from a trend point of view, we see that every other organization wants to do something, right? Uh, uh, this is the good news. Bad news is that, you know, they are still confused what to do, right? And we want to come in and try to make the adoption of mental well-being as easy as possible. You know, our dream and our vision is to make mental well-being uh, accessible to all employees through, through an embedded strategy in companies' intranet side, email systems, and the likes by one click. So turn on your organization's mental well-being with one click. That is one, one point. And the second point, which leads us to the differentiation, is that you know, uh, we believe we are the only platform, potentially globally, which does take care of the employee well-being at the individual employee level, and also provides very strong people analytics, anonymized as the well-being index 
for the enterprise. So this combination is a very strong value proposition for the overall employmental well-being for the enterprise segment. I think I'll summarize there as our differentiation. We have many other smaller points. You know, we are AI enabled. We are world's first. We are embedded. Uh, ta 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 ta. I can keep going on there. But I guess. Uh, thanks, Sanjeev. That's that's really great, and um, you know, uh, we hope that um, you know we can see more of joy in the coming months. Uh, so I'd like to invite uh, our next presenter, uh, Mindfy uh, Leon, uh, from Mindfy to uh, share the um, demo here. Hi, thanks a lot, uh, Swacha, for the quick introduction. Let me just quickly share my screen um, to kind of uh, take you through the two minutes of uh, what MindFi really is about. So basically, uh, at MindFi, our goal is uh, to build positive minds and productive organizations, productive workplaces, right? In essence, we want to help organizations to enhance as well as to track employee well-being. Right. So when it comes to how we do this is we, we go through this process that we call the learning, the acting and the tracking. We're obviously learning. We talk about raising awareness. Right. Uh, acting. We talk about building habits and finally tracking. You measure progress on an employee level. Uh, we use the MindFi application and inside the MindFi application, which I will show in a short while, we have video classes for learning to raise awareness. We have guided exercises, about 300 of them, which is where you start acting and building habits, and also assessments, science-based assessments that helps you track your personal progress. And on the employer side, we have L&D masterclasses to actually train and upskill employees and managers. We have well-being challenges. Again, I'll get into a video on this later. And then we also have uh, analytics for HR, which are actionable and can derive HR recommendations when it comes to uh, well-being. Okay, without uh, further ado, let me just uh, quickly jump into uh, sharing uh, my screen on, on my phone. Okay. All right. So I talked about learn, act, and track. So the very first thing we have when it comes to learning, uh, we have curated a bunch of these uh, video classes, right? These are classes that are conducted live and also recorded and archived right, on the app so that you can access it. So um, obviously on the very top, you would be able to see like some of these uh, upcoming classes. They are conducted by experts that we have curated uh, over the years, a network that we have built uh, and is a growing network. We have about two live classes a week and uh, we have many different uh, past classes. And I'm gonna just uh, very quickly uh, play a sample class just to give you an idea of what it is about. All right, all these are past classes. Good evening, everybody. Um, everybody who is here uh, with us today. Um, thank you for joining me. My name is Rosie, and I am an applied theatre practitioner and counsellor. And today I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, power presentations and how to kind of Okay, so obviously we're not going to go into playing the full video, but uh, do feel free to check it out on your own time. And uh, so obviously all these uh, classes we have, uh, like I mentioned earlier, we have uh, two video classes on a weekly basis to actually help users to uh, get acquainted, you know, with the with with mental well being, and that's where we call the learning aspect. The next thing after you learn is time to act. And that's where we have practices. So when it comes to practices, uh, we do have uh, curated again uh, 300 over different exercises. And uh, what you realize, or uh, what you are going to realize, is that a lot of these exercises are very short. Notice commute mindfully, three minutes, eating well, three minutes, work deeply, four minutes. You know, uh, we believe in our. Uh, we, we do believe in our short meditations as opposed to, you know, what, what I always call sitting on a yoga mat and trying to meditate for 30 minutes doesn't work for some people. At least I know it doesn't work for me, but I do have a collection of all these different short exercises that I do on a daily basis for my own personal mental well-being. And uh, in, the, in, the, in the busy workplace, uh, where employees don't really have the time even to complete their work, I think it's very important for them to actually uh, get access to some of these uh, short bite-sized exercises. And uh, if I were to just uh, take a random one, resilience has been a very uh, popular topic these days, right? And then we talk about, uh, let's say, deep work or maybe deadline blues, right? And let's see, all these are audio guided tracks, right? To actually uh, help you practice mindfulness. Let's play one, a, a bit of one of them, for example. Okay, it's going to ask me how I feel. I'm quite calm now.
Hi there, it's Toby here and welcome back. Is there a big deadline coming up for you soon? Maybe even today. If you're getting worried about it, don't panic yet. I'm going to try and help you to manage it. At such moments, your body can be a good anchor for you to reset and refresh yourself. So let's begin by breathing in. Yeah. So again, I'm not going to play the whole track, but you get the idea. All these are audio guided tracks to actually guide you as you practice mindfulness, as you practice different well-being uh, habits. And, and, and uh, so after that, remember we had learned from video classes. Now we moved on to acting. And another aspect of the acting is that we are also able to get users or employees in this case, right, to actually express their moods and recommend them uh, different practices, right? Uh, we have an AI engine at the back that uh, combines your health data together with your moods and uh, we'll be able to recommend uh, different practices for you. And uh, over here, for example, I said, oh, I'm feeling a little stressed. Right, so uh, combining some of this data, this AI engine will recommend some uh, tracks out of the 300 different uh, exercises that we have curated. And again, all these different tracks are like the one that I played earlier. They are audio guided tracks and they are all very short, two minutes to five minutes to actually help you practice different aspects of mindfulness. So because I'm stressed, some of the practices that may be relevant for me is a slow walk, mindful breathing, or even like a social check-in, you know, with uh, people, relaxing with nature and so on. All these are very short, again, bite-sized exercises that you can be easily fit into your daily routine without causing a big disruption. Yeah. And next thing I want to show you is track. So again, we have learn, act, and track, right? Uh, when it comes to tracking, what we have curated is a number of uh, assessments. And uh, what I want to show you here is the, a, a science-based assessment by the World Health Organization, WHO. And uh, this is based on the WHO Wellbeing Index. And then uh, these questions are again phrased in a very uh, personable way, nothing to do with work. You know, it's purely like uh, asking about your own self. It's like a self-check. Like for example, I felt cheerful and in good spirits. Well, I would say more than half the time for me, I felt calm and relaxed. Uh, I'll say actually most of the time, you know, I've, I've, I've been pretty good at this. I felt active and vigorous. Yeah, I actually hurt my back uh, doing some workouts. So I wasn't extremely active uh, this week, something I need to pick up on again. I woke up feeling fresh and rested. More than half the time, I guess, uh, I, could, I could definitely use some improvements in my sleep. My daily life has been filled with things that interest me. Well, most of the time, because I always like to think of uh, new ideas. I felt connected to others. Most of the time as well, we had a number of social gatherings. Uh, I do feel I lack companionship, hardly ever. I do feel left up, hardly ever. I feel isolated. Well, maybe some of the time because uh, you know, of pandemic and I work from home and stuff. But generally speaking, this is where I can take my assessment and get an idea of uh, my mental state, whether how good am I, and a quick summary. So again, uh, when we, we, we take this, we are able to track our own well-being. We are able to uh, give, get, get an idea of which way I need help. Like in this case, obviously physical uh, is a bit of a concern for me, right? So what I'm now going to do, uh, we've talked about learn, act and track, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you how now uh, employers can actually use this uh, application to run what we call a well-being challenge, a mind challenge. So let me just uh, stop sharing my screen on my phone. Okay, and I, I'm going to switch back to my uh, computer. Just give me a moment. All right. So we've thought, we have looked at the app and the different functions, right? So it's all about clocking minutes in the app while you do these exercises. Uh, the next thing is uh, the Global Mastermind Challenge. While you can clock steps in the steps challenge, you clock minutes of wellness in the Global Mastermind Challenge. like these can be tough on our mental health. And that's why it's essential to have our minds be tough and ready for any challenges. Welcome to MindFi's Global Mastermind Challenge. Let's go on a journey together and become masters of our minds. Sign up in a team with five of your coworkers and start on the path towards a better you. Together, you'll train your mind through focus, fitness, and fun, all on the MindFi app. 
Mindify is the perfect tool to help you build daily habits, track your progress, and improve your mental health. Relax and let the immersive breathe mode guide you with phone vibrations. Feeling stressed or down? Learn science-based mindfulness techniques that you can practice with your eyes open, anytime and anywhere. Are distractions slowing you down? The focus mode keeps you in the flow by managing your screen time and boosting your productivity. Track your progress easily after every completed session. Do you know that mastering your mind is a team sport? Collaborate daily with your coworkers, even those who are working remotely. You can even engage in a friendly competition with other teams and win prizes. Discover a new and social way to relieve stress, improve your mental wellness, and build stronger, more resilient minds together. Your adventure starts now. Form a team today and become a mastermind with MindFi. All right, so that was the Global Mastermind Challenge by MindFi. What I'm going to move on to now is a, a very quick uh, breakdown of some of the analytics that we compile in the reports. So obviously, we will look at the different utilization of the application. You know, like uh, how users are act, how they use it throughout the day or even uh, throughout the week, and uh, which modes are they on uh, more frequently. And also, I, earlier I mentioned about the ability for users to select a mood, and then after that we have AI recommendations. So over here, we even will give we'll give M, uh, HR with uh, we'll provide HR with this uh, a mood heat map, right, to show like uh, on which days uh, they have been feeling more stress. In this case, for example, Tuesday is most the, a more stressful day. Uh, people tend to feel happy uh, on on uh, Monday, you know, which is a uh, quite different. But the idea is that uh, that's where uh, data doesn't lie, right? Uh, this data is very useful for gauging your employees' mood throughout the week. And then we also have the well-being score summary. Earlier, I shared in the app about uh, attempting the WHO, the World Health Organization Well-Being Index. Now, when you get all this data, we will be able to anonymize it and then present it as a, as a report that looks something like this. We will compare your organization's uh, well-being score across the six dimensions, emotional, mental, physical, spiritual, sleep, and social, together with our average. And we'll also be able to break it down and uh, compare individual dimensions so you know which pillar needs help. Like for example, sleep may need help. We also look at like uh, how it breaks down in terms of department, right? So like we will be able to uh, tell you like uh, you all your departments over here, this is how they rank in their wellness scores. And then these are some departments that fall below your company average and below your company average and the MindFi average. So if uh, some actions may be needed, uh, so these are some departments that may deserve you know, a, a second look at. And uh, if you are taking part in the Global Mastermind Challenge, obviously we will have all the different uh, reports to show you how many minutes your organizations have clocked during the Global Mastermind Challenge, and uh, in addition to all the other well-being analytics. So thank you very much. Thanks, Leon. Uh, thanks for the uh, demo. Um, some questions out there. Um, what are the interesting trends that you are witnessing in the mental wellness tech space, especially in Singapore? How do you differentiate uh, MindFi to cater to the emerging trends of enterprises? Thanks, Sucha, for the question. So uh, like what uh, the earlier speaker Sanjeev has mentioned, right? the pandemic has raised the awareness uh, to an uh, extent like never before. Uh, but at the same time, people are very uncertain of uh, what to do. What I've, uh, what I've seen personally uh, is an increased use of AI uh, in the sense of uh, one of the more common uh, trend I'm seeing is with chatbots. So we have a, a couple of uh, AI chatbots coming up for mental wellness tech, right? To actually become like this uh, virtual counselor to uh, users, right? Uh, and there's also uh, what I noticed is uh, the growth of uh, wearables, even like Fitbits, who are trying to basically uh, look into the ability to not just measure physical well being, but also mental well being through things like heart rate variability and uh, other metrics that they can actually glean from the wearable to measure like a uh, mental well being status. And the third thing that I noticed was uh, virtual care platforms. So now instead of, uh, instead of having to see a, a psychologist in person, we are, we are using a lot of these uh, virtual platforms, you know, including platforms like Doctor Anywhere and uh, other similar platforms, even for mental well-being, not just on physical health. 
And uh, moving on to your second question on how we differentiate. So first of all, right, we have this uh, process of learning, acting, and tracking, right, to make the uh, mental well-being a lot more accessible to the individual. Like I said, uh, most people don't like to sit on a yoga mat for 30 minutes. Uh, that's why we curate all these bite-sized exercises that users can practice. And ultimately, you, some of them will become your habits. We don't expect all of them, but we have 300 for you to choose from, right? So that's uh, one of the key differences. In addition to the fact that we have curated a bunch of these uh, trainers, experts, doctors, psychologists, psychiatrists who come on uh, on our Mind5 programming to conduct live video classes. Again, short classes, 20 minutes and you can have a Q&A session. Uh, just watch free and easy. And of course, finally, the fact that we have all these different self-tests. Uh, we focus on making well-being uh, measurable and actionable for human resources, as you've seen from uh, the way we present the data and which dimension of well-being uh, would need some uh, attention to, which departments may need some intervention. And finally, uh, obviously, we have an AI engine at the back that combines your health data, your wellness assessment from your WHO and other wellness assessments that we have in the app. And then finally, we are able to give recommendations to the users, you know, not just to HR, but also to the individual employees on how they can best improve their wellness, what kind of exercises they can practice or what videos they can watch. Great, great. Uh, thanks, Dion. Um, and I would now call uh, Antoniette and uh, Darwin from Safe Space uh, to present the demos. Great news. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Antoinette. I'm the founder of Safe Space. I'm going to start sharing my screen and just walk you through exactly what Safe Space does. Okay. Safe Space started from a personal need. So most of you who are watching today are most likely going to be HR directors or business leaders. I'm coming from the perspective of your employee where I actually had burnout myself. And what happened actually in that standpoint was, you know, you're not in the best frame of mind when it comes to making a decision because you're actually going through a very panic state. So what happens really when someone is going through a, a mental health concern, if, especially if this happens in the office, is that multiple factors contribute to the decline in someone's work performance. You know, it could be a mixture of caregiver fatigue if they're in the sandwich generation and, they're working for, and they are working at the same time, or it could be different life challenges causing them stress and anxiety. All of these factors and at least there'll be about three, contributes to the decline in someone's mental health. So who are we really? Safe Space wants to be a mental wellness ecosystem. We are more than just a marketplace where we can help your employees to heal, energize wherever they are. So what do we offer you? We offer you a platform that matches you to a therapist in seconds for individualized care. When your employee is going through a panic attack or a burnout, in the office, they actually do need someone else to guide them and to hold their hand in that whole process. That's the benefit of having the real-time matching algorithm. What we can provide then is to identify what kind of therapy would they like to have. So we provide evidence-based therapy within Safe Space, delivered by certified therapists across online counseling as well as face-to-face -face counseling. So they will always have that option. But we always know not everyone needs therapy sessions just yet. This is where education comes in. We provide preventive mental health education in the form of a toolkit. It's a whole library of, of resources for them to learn at their own pace. Ultimately, we wanna give ensure that they have easy access to the therapist where they can book them anytime, anywhere, according to their schedule. And one thing that's coming soon is that we're gonna be providing a digital therapy assistant to keep them motivated as well on their mental wellness journey. So how does it work really when it comes to safe space? In a nutshell, we will work with the HR teams to arrange a live demo of the platform. Why it's live is actually because your employees are gonna be asking a lot of questions. Questions like, if I use a mental health solution, is this gonna affect my performance review? By doing a live onboarding, we allow them to ask these questions anonymously, build trust and to put their fears at ease. They will then be asked to register um, and set up their account on a safe space. We will give them immediate access after the onboarding and they can, it can then proceed to book a therapy session. And then we will also make recommendations to both the employee and the HR team along the way. So I'm gonna skip past that and I'm gonna go straight to what does it look like actually for the employee when they use the platform? So first thing that they will have access to is something called the therapist booking wizard. 
this therapist booking wizard is actually your personal digital concierge and it's the one that will guide you and match you in real time to the therapist. So it looks something like this. So it's a four step process. We make it really easy for them. So firstly, you know, how are you feeling today? So they can select up to three options here where it's either stress, anxious, um, angry or depressed. They can select that if they want to and then they can click on submit after that. Next, you want to know what's causing them to feel this way. So we try and be very explicit in the options that are, that are provided here. Is it COVID-19? Is it working from home? Um, we are also a registered inclusive business under Be Inclusive, and we have counselors that can tackle any kind of LGBT concerns that your employees may face. They can select LGBT as well as an as a option over there. So again, they can select up to three options here. And then next, you know, what are you physically going through? So is it any kind of fatigue? Is it heart palpitations, insomnia, which is actually quite common as an option there. If they have no symptoms, that's fine. They can select no symptoms. And if there's anything else that they would like to include and share that with the therapist, they can write it down in this open text field here. In all, honest, in all honesty, everyone will always fill up this text field to share a bit more and we give them the opportunity to do so. So that's step one, where we try and understand a little bit more about what the employee is going through Step two is where we ask them, what is your preference for therapists? Now, we do ask for gender preference, especially if there is a sexual harassment case, you would be more inclined to choose a therapist that is um, of the same gender as you. Because we're inclusive, we have four, op four options for gender. We have male, female, non-binary, and no preference if they, if they don't have any. They can select the language preference that they would like to work with. We currently have English, Bahasa Malayu, Tamil, Bengali, and Mandarin on our platform, and we are actively seeking for more local languages as well. Price range is next. So we empower both the therapist and the, and the employee to choose a pricing that they are the most comfortable with. All our therapists come with varying levels of experience and we allow them to, to charge their own prices according to the experience level, but we empower the corporate and the employee as well to choose a price that they are most comfortable with. Timing is next. Do you want to select a therapist that is um, after work the following day? You have the option to select the most appropriate time frame for you here. And you can select whether it's video call or face-to-face. -face. So in this case, for example, let's say I have already filled up all these options. Safe Space recommends in this gray area here, who are the top four therapists that can help them? Now we have over 25 therapists on our platform, but there is no point showing all of them. They'll be too overwhelmed. So we recommend the first top four, and if they would like to take a look at the rest of them, they can select um, the view all function and see the full list of therapists as well. So let's say, for example, I take a look at um, um, this particular profile. We actually really list out all the credentials of our therapist. So in this case, one of our therapists, Carla, you can see that she has a master's in counseling from the University of Queensland. You can see exactly what her specialization is, which is stress, LGBT, anxiety, and so on. And what is her approach to therapy? Now, why do we do this is so that your employee can make the most informed decision before deciding on which therapist they would like to work with. Here's an example of some of the therapists that we have. We only work with therapists that have a master's and above, primarily because therapists who are not masters and above, who are diploma and below, they are not trained um, in, in online counseling. It's actually not in their curriculum just yet. Those who are masters and above have the experience to be able to counsel someone from a computer screen like this and actually be able, be able to calm them down if they are actually going through any kind of physical symptoms. So that's primarily how we vet our therapists as well. So next, if let's say, for example, I've chosen a therapist, I will then be able to, to see the next page, which is how do I book her? So in this case, let's say the therapist is Jasmine Smith. You can see here that she's actually offering you a discount if you book eight sessions or more. If, you're not, if you don't want to do all eight sessions, that's absolutely fine. You can select one session, but you can see what is her pricing when it comes to face-to-face, -to -face, whether it's 60 minutes or 90 minutes. You can see where is her therapy practice at so that you can make a decision. Do you want to meet her after work or find a therapist that is nearer to your home location? Over here is the calendar. So you can book any time slot over here. Um, that, is, that is listed in blue, pick a time slot, click on book an appointment. Over here is where we also remind your employees to please log in so that whatever answers that you have indicated 
collected in the in the form earlier will be automatically saved so that safe space can do the recommendations um, after you log in into the platform so over here we will always ask them to please log in with the company email because we do have 2fa for verification and they can always move on from there so over here which is the third step which is step three um, it is the payment page where credit card details are, are available, but they will not be asked to, to pay for anything because what we will do is provide vouchers for the employees to use and no payment will be necessary. Okay. Lastly is the confirmation page and we will send a confirmation email to the employee as well as the therapist for them to proceed for the therapy session and it will look something like this when it comes to the employee dashboard. So once that once the confirmation email has been sent, they'll be prompted to log in. The employee dashboard looks something like this. So over here is where Safe Space does continuous recommendation um, on who are the therapists that they can work with. Now, why do we do that? It is actually so that if you work with a therapist and they go on annual leave, you will always have a new therapist that's recommended to you so that you can have continuity of care while using the platform and wait for them to come back from the, from the annual leave, for example. Now, let's say, for example, you're running late for work. A chat function will actually appear um, and it will be used for you to inform your therapist, hey, I'm running a little bit late for my therapy session. Would you mind waiting for me for a couple of minutes? So that's primarily what the chat function will be used for. And what will be done with the therapy session is either video call or face-to-face. -face. So if it's going to be video call counseling, it will look something like this. You can actually launch the video call from the homepage itself or you can actually expand the screen and it will look something like this. Now, on Safe Space side, we actually built three additional features within our video call function. So a lot of people have told us, you know, this looks quite similar to Google Meet or Zoom. Why did you build your own um, video call tool? So we use Twilio to do so, and it allows us to build those three features that I've mentioned. So feature one is actually this countdown timer. It actually helps to the therapist to keep track of the session and in the last 15 minutes start to suggest to your employee, you know, um, what, are, what are the strategies do I recommend? Do you need six sessions? Do you need eight sessions? And based on that, identify a plan of what will work well with your employee. Does your employee also want to continue the session with this therapist or try someone else? Now, so that's what the countdown timer is for. And if let's say your employee decides, yep, I would like to continue working with this therapist, the second feature that we've built here is this book another button. So this book another button will launch the calendar again and live on the call, the employee and the therapist can agree on a date and time to meet. And it's a very seamless booking and sales cycle for both the employee and the therapist. The last feature that we have built is this area here. So this is actually something called soap notes. This is where your therapist will be able to leave your employee homework or, or act activities for them to do. Homework could be things like, for example, I've got a journal um, and I would like you to do one page a day and let's go through that in our next session. So this is where sometimes the employee, if they're really stressed out, they will forget some of the things that their therapist has, has told them and they can refer back to, the, right, back to these notes um, from the soap note section within this call itself, which will also be available in their employee dashboard. Okay, so we also do remind the employee that for emergency cases, you know, um, please do leave an emergency contact. Um, and it's primarily done just so that the therapist can contact the next of kin, should there be an, an emergency or critical case for them to help um, get, get people to arrive at the location, should the employee be suffering or having a full-blown panic attack. Okay. So other than the therapy sessions, we do have a mental wellness toolkit, which I mentioned. Now this toolkit is webinar recordings that are done by our clinical therapists who want to make this available to the public. These are one hour long video lectures done by clinical therapists and it ranges from various topics. Topics can be, for example, eating disorders, anxiety in children, the importance of discussing difficult emotions. And we make this publicly available for your employees to use and to learn at their own pace. Other than that, if let's say, for example, the company would like to do something more interactive, Safe Space does live webinars and we do it in a range of different topics. So, for example, burnout has been our number one requested topic. 
mental resilience and, and growth mindset is another one that is also one of the most um, requested topics. Because insomnia is actually quite a big concern, good sleep management is now also re being highly requested. Emotional intelligence management for teams and especially team leaders, how do you form an emotional first aid kit for your team? And identifying what is workplace mental well being, you know, a, a toxic work culture versus a nurturing work culture. We provide all these trainings live with anonymous interaction so that your so that your employees can ask us questions and build trust along the way. So that's what your employees will have access to. What will the HR team has have access to? So this is an example of our HR dashboard. Now, in this case, you can see, for example, how many employees are using the platform, how much has been utilized, for example, and what are the total number of sessions that are being booked by the employees? You can break this down by month and by year, and Safe Space will actually do a review with the HR team to see what are the spikes that are coming up for their, for their employees. Are certain quarters more stressful than the others, for example? And in this case, we are able to then work with them to plan a series of educational webinars so that we can train the employees together. Now, data is always something that's, that is um, widely requested for clarification because everyone is quite sensitive when it comes to how is the data being utilized? Will my HR um, utilize this to judge my performance review? We actually really do not use the data in, in any way like that. And we try and make sure that um, data security is of utmost concern when it comes to working with Safe Space. For more information on our, on our privacy policy, you can take a look at the link here on how we utilize the data and how often we delete our cookies. Okay. We're happy to report that for our consumers and our employees, there is a 100% net promoter score where they are happy to work with Safe Space and they would recommend this 100% to a friend who is in need of counseling services. We do a quarterly impact measurement review and we submit this to raise as part of our social impact assessment. So we're happy to report that for Q1, we have a 100% net promoter score. Thanks, Antoinette. Uh, so just uh, uh, moving on to the questions, um, we wanted to understand what are the, some of the interesting trends that you're witnessing in the mental wellness space and uh, how is uh, safe space uh, different um, and how is it catering to the emerging trends? Sure. So for safe space, in all honesty, um, uh, the trends have definitely changed. You know, in December, they launched um, the Employer's Handbook for Mental Health by MOM. And the conversation right now is a lot more open and there's a lot more readiness for adoption. You know, last quarter alone, we, we actually did a platform demo with over 200 HR directors. And we are really happy to see that when it comes to working with, with, with mental health tech, especially because of COVID, it accelerated a lot of digital adoption where there is a lot more openness to work with mental health tech because should another pandemic, I really hope it doesn't happen, happens again. You know, there is always continuity of care because you're already online and you, you have something that can be used um, whether in person or virtually. So definitely I would say the trend is openness. Yeah, across the board, whether it's mental health or mental health tech, the openness to use it is there. And I guess, you know, what is your, when it comes to your second question, what is our product differentiation when it comes to working with us for, for enterprises? You know, for Safe Space, we were built by recovered mental health sufferers. And we were built it, we built it to actually provide this platform to the next generation. So we do this from a top-down approach where we educate business leaders first, and we have flexible plans to cater to their post-COVID cash flow needs. So we do that by acting as their long-term partner so that we can provide insights as well as preventive education to their staff. On the product side, you know, we feel that most companies are still a directory listing where they list out the therapists and it's actually quite similar to doing a Google search. By having our real-time matching algorithm to act as that bridge to guide and help the hand of the employee to find their most suitable match, um, it actually really improves the experience and it also helps the company and employee to save time and, and is very cost effective. So for us, you know, we have also secured IHP well funding. Now that well funding is by HPB and it provides up to $7,000 when it comes to corporate subsidy. So in that case, we try and make it most affordable for our companies to, to get access to at least corporate mental health education. 
Okay, that's great. Um, thanks, Antoniet. Uh, thanks for uh, sharing the demo for of Safe, safe Space. Uh, so I'd like uh, to um, ask jo uh, Joan and uh, Zenvi from Thoughtful World uh, to present the demos, please. Hi, everyone. My name is Joan Lowe, and I'm the founder and CEO of Thoughtful. We're a digital mental health company that partners with organizations like you to bring end-to-end -end mental well-being solutions to your employees, both on our app, Thoughtful Chat, which you'll see later, and also off the app. Now, through our mobile app, Thoughtful Chat, employees are actually empowered to engage with their mental well-being earlier rather than later. And how we do that is through providing curated tools, all signs back, for better stress management and also anxiety and burnout management. Uh, we also do and provide one-on-one -on -one daily bite-sized coaching with certified mental health professionals. Now, it's slightly different to traditional therapy in its, uh, in its sense because Thoughtful Chat's approach is really more on-demand and high touch point. Now, users can text an audio message anytime, anywhere, and professionals asynchronously check in uh, during the weekdays. Now, be it Thoughtful Chat's digital learning and coaching, to offline traditional therapy and also hotlines, we actually work with HR to implement an annual comprehensive mental well-being program for employees end to end, online to offline in, uh, in the whole spectrum. Now to take a step back and bring this down more to a human level. Now, 20 years ago, a loved one of mine had prematurely uh, uh, had to leave the corporate world and the workforce due to mental health challenges brought on by a confluence of work and also life stresses. Now, for two decades, we searched for the right solutions, but really to no avail. Now, the challenges of accessing seamless mental health care is really a journey that we know firsthand. And as a team, that's one of the biggest motivating factors that drives our mission and also our founding. Now, it turns out that we're not alone because at any given time, one in seven Singaporeans experience some form of mental well-being challenge, yet 75% of these individuals will neither seek nor receive the support needed. Now, you might think that this only happens outside of the workforce, but in reality, Corporates in Singapore, companies like yours, are losing up to two months in productivity due to suboptimal mental well-being amongst employees, fatigue, burnout, the whole spectrum. Now, with the pandemic, these circumstances have been exacerbated, and three in four have reported to experience elevated anxiety and burnout, and such effects are actually long-term in nature, as we've seen with SARS. The good news is that us as employers, we can actually proactively implement preventive strategies to safeguard optimal well-being of our employees and also promote resilience building habits. Importantly, it will prevent employees like my loved one who had to prematurely leave the workforce. And this will actually enable people and employers to drive better retention rates. Now, Thoughtful takes a very data and outcomes driven approach, and we help employers to optimize their ROI by saving up to 60% in cost when it comes to well being programs. We drive employee engagement of up to 20% versus the typical employee assistance programs where utilizations are anywhere between 1% to 3%. 80% of our users are actually engaging with their mental health for the first time. What this means is that we work with you to reach employees who wouldn't typically engage in your mental well-being programs in the first place. Now, importantly, our program has shown statistically significant reduction in stress and anxiety amongst employees after only one month of usage of Thoughtful Chat. Now, if you're already convinced that we should have a thoughtful chat about bringing resilience building programs to your company, you can email me at joan.low at thoughtful.world down here. But if you still need a bit more convincing, then stay on and I'll share how thoughtful chat fits into the lives of your employees, such as Amy. Now, Amy is an employee who's been going through changes in her life lately. Now, her team just got downsized. So she's now working double duty on top of juggling her new role as a mother 
to a firstborn child. Now, such changes are never easy. And she wants to see how she can manage this better. Because again, at the end of the day, it is affecting her focus, her energy levels, and also her sleep. Now, she's not quite comfortable to openly share with her manager just yet about her current experience. And she also doesn't feel like perhaps full therapy is not quite needed yet. That's when she decides to discreetly sign up for Thoughtful Chat to see how she can better manage everything on her plate. Now, Thoughtful Chat is designed so that there's something for everyone. You'll notice that it's inten intentionally unintimidating and it's also intuitive. If you look for someone like Amy, for example, who wants to learn how to engage with her mental health a little bit more, now she can go into our learn feature. And here you have curated science-backed bite-sized lessons and quick tools that are curated in-house by a clinical team, all of whom are certified mental health professionals. She can easily tap into one of our lessons. So let's say, for example, she's learning how to manage her transition better into different roles. She can go in there access any one of the of the lessons now everything is bite-sized so nothing you know nothing more than two three minutes of consumption each of the lesson is curated and the more she learns the more we know what she will need if let's say for example she's looking for quick tools to help her go through a period where she's feeling rather overwhelmed now she can go into something you know that's a bit more actionable like our quick tools on mindfulness for example, if she wanted to, you know, access a quick five minute meditation, she can definitely do so. She click into it and there you go. At any time, she can access tools at her fingertips that will allow her to take care of her health at her own pace and self-regulate. Now, as and when she is ready to engage with her personal mental health coach, our algorithms instantly will match her to her best fit professional. She can text or audio message anytime and anywhere, and her coach will asynchronously check in daily. Now there is full transparency on who she's working with. So all her coach's um, prof uh, profile is over here for her uh, easy access. Everything from their experience, their licensure, you know, what their main demographic focuses are, it's all there. Now in the unlikely situation that Amy feels that maybe the chemistry is not so great. You know, I don't think the, 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 the cadence of our communication is working out. She can always change professionals at any time seamlessly, and she can do so for free within the app. Now, safety is always our priority. Not only is all data within Thoughtful Chat SSL secure using banking grade infrastructure, everything is also strictly confidential, even from employers. In the clinical setting, safety for us is also taken care of. Now at the top right corner, you'll find a location-based SOS resource button here that will be available at any time for our, for our users and employees whenever they need, if time is of the essence. We are strong advocates of inclusive hiring. Now this text on audio message first approach actually also caters to differently abled employees who may have speech or hearing impediments and who will be better served in this format. Now, the next feature is something that we're very excited about because for us, ongoing progress tracking is always very important. Everything from mood journals to guided thought journals, as well as clinical assessments that are used in hospitals univer uh, universally across the world to assess for stress, anxiety, and depression levels. Everything is all in one profile. So here you can longitudinally track your, your, your progress over time. You can also see where the undulations of your moods, your thoughts, and your you know, emotional health is. And what this actually allows both clinical uh, professionals and also employees to do is to really get a high, you know, a high touch point model that allows them to gain access to aggregated insights into the pulse of the individual. 
to make sure that decisions are made based on data and insights that are personalized to the individual. Now we take a very organizational approach and how we work with organizations is to partner with you to design and implement mental well-being programs that will meet the needs of your organizations as well as employees. Now we have a reporting dashboard, which due to time constraints, we won't go into here, but for any information and for a further deep dive for a demo into Thoughtful Chat and Thoughtful's full end-to-end -end suite of employee well-being programs, feel free to reach out again to me directly at joan.lo at thoughtful.world, or you can visit our website at www.thoughtful, that's thoughtful with two L's, thoughtful.world. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Joan. Uh, thanks a lot. And that was really interesting. Um, some of the questions that we have is, what are the, some of the interesting trends that you are seeing uh, in the mental wellness tech space, especially in Singapore? And mm -hmm. how does a thoughtful uh, chat uh, differentiate um, by cat uh, and cater to the emerging needs of the enterprises? Yep. Thank you so much for that question, Shweta. Uh, now, I think one of the, and, and I think I echo all the speakers who have spoken before me here. Uh, I think one of the biggest trends that we're seeing, especially post pandemic, or even for some countries, it's still, you know, uh, very much in, uh, in the midst of pandemic, is the fact that there is an increased awareness. Uh, but I think more than that is the switch from just dialogues around awareness to actually taking action. Now, the role that we see mental health providers have now within organizational settings is a move away from just crisis management, but towards preventive care. And again, moving away from just awareness to really taking action. And what we mean by this is we're actually seeing things move away from one-off interactions. So no longer are we looking at just one-off webinars and then calling it a day. We're not looking at one-off you know, counseling sessions and then calling it a day. We're really looking at investments into ongoing engagements. This is something that I think before the pandemic, employers were not so ready to invest in. But what we see today and moving forward is this increased awareness of the need to invest into such ongoing trends. Now, I think the last part which I will speak on uh, in terms of the trend is the fact that there is a need to integrate AI and data science as well as coupling it with consumer behavior, which is what we've done here, so that providers as well as employers can actually provide more precise and timely care. And so... I guess tying into your second question, which is, you know, beautifully set up, Shetha, um, is the fact that when it comes to Thoughtful's product differentiation, it exactly speaks to that, right? Thoughtful Chat is on-demand behavior change coaching and tools at the palm of an employee's hand. We run a very high touch point engagement with close feedback loops from, you know, what you're doing in activities to how it's actually translating into outcomes and, 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 and the whole um, circle over there uh, and really providing personalized insights at both the employee level and the employer level. Now, I think for us, everything we do is science-backed, which is why we've kickstarted uh, a couple of clinical research projects. Some we can announce and some we cannot yet. The one that we can share is the fact that we've just partnered with the largest medical university in Malaysia to run a clinical study on the efficacy of Thoughtful Chat itself on various populations. So everything we do is science-backed. We measure it and we want to make sure that uh, employers know what they're investing into and measure the outcomes along because our win is also their win and it's also the employee's win. Absolutely, um, yeah. Joan, and uh, thanks a lot uh, for summing it all up. Uh, just to conclude, 2020 went down in history as a year that changed everything. In 2021 and beyond, the mental health crisis triggered by the pandemic has certainly become a catalyst for enterprises to embark on or accelerate their digital HR journey. Owing to these developments, there has been a significant pivot of mental wellness in context of work, workplace, and the workforce. Leaders all over the globe are provided with an opportunity to reconceptualize their well-being and wellness framework. 
a tech-driven mental wellness platform, such as the one where we saw today, not just generates tangible returns, but a significant return on value in terms of happier, satisfied, and resilient employees. Numerous studies and research have shown that using wellness tech is effective. The key benefits of tech-driven mental wellness tools include accessibility, improved collaboration and communication, early intervention and identification, awareness, and training to reduce stigma. With a nudge from Singapore government, which has always been at the forefront of workforce well-being, the wellness tech segment will get a further fillip and more homegrown and foreign players will enter the Singapore market in large numbers. Organizations who embrace well-being of their employees and leverage technology will find themselves equipped with a resilient workforce, be better prepared to withstand any future disruptions and are more likely to see improved bottom, bottom line results. On behalf of hrtech.sg, I would like to thank all our partners today for sharing the demos of their innovative solutions. If you would like to see more of such demo or sessions, do drop us a line at info at hrtech.sg. Thank you and have a good day. I would like uh, to call upon all the presenters and the partners uh, to come on camera so that we can have a group circle.